Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Bad Unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing another Mantry. Though uh, I told the Mantry people that this time around I would like some cocktail mixers. Now, I, I did that with the in, with the thought in mind that maybe, maybe I'll drink a little bit. You know, maybe, maybe I'll go out and treat myself, get a nice little uh, bottle of vodka, and, uh, and pour me some nice cocktails. And then I thought, nah, I don't like alcohol. I don't like none of that shit. So this is what comes in the uh, Mantry crate, the cocktail mixer Mantry crate. You get uh, a whole slew of cocktail mixers, craft cocktail at home, the Mantry. So it uh, tells you 90 proof and it tells you all the different Mantry concoctions you can make. And then you have these beautiful things in here. What we're going to do is we're going to mix this, uh, we're going to do, we're going to do one... One part of this, I don't know if you guys are saying this, we're going to do, that's eh, one part, I don't know if I should have shaken it ahead of time, and we'll put a little V8 in there, see what happens, I don't know, I should have shaken this as well, I don't know, I still can, kind of. Alright, so we're adding, I don't know, that amount of V8, yeah, it seems good, uh... And then we'll top her off with a little bit of water. Bottoms up. Wow. That actually went down real smooth like. Very surprised. Alright, um, next up is uh, we're going to do a young ukulele uh, drink. Uh, no, I don't want to do young ukulele. You know what? Um, we just got done with a bit of a Bloody Mary. Let's uh, let's make another Bloody Mary. Now we're gonna do stew. This is Bloody Mary, a concentrate. Uh, so I want you guys to get a good good look at what a stew looks like. That's what a stew looks like. It's a little bit thick, but normal. This is Bloody Mary mix. Keep that in mind. So this is actually normal. You think that's enough? That's only enough for two drinks. By golly, whatever. It's mainly pickle juice. It's like eating a whole. Like eating a whole Fraser Farms of pickles. We already used a good amount of the V8. I think this time around we're going to do a little bit of milk. Should make it like a bit of a cocoa. Ooh. So, technically, this is pretty good because, uh, you know, vinegar, pickle juice is an acid. Milk is a base. So I'm like, that's my mindset. You know, I'm trying to infuse a little science in this show. A little bit, uh, a little bit crazy, a little bit science. It actually doesn't smell too bad. <coughs> it's extremely cold. Yeah, really cold. Oh, you know, I forgot to mix it. That's pro probably part of the problem. Is I just forgot to mix it. All right. That'll light you up. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a play-by-play -play of what just happened. So I, uh, I was drinking it, and then I decided to ing ingest it through my nose canal, and then shoot it out through my nose. Not the wisest move I made. Goodness me! I didn't even use my freaking coasters. I'm a bit of a savage. Okay, so that one. That one didn't taste very good, uh, but I think that's uh, partly due to the fact that I'm allergic to pickle juice. Uh, this time around, I'm shaking. It also could be because I didn't shake it before I drank it. Don't use your teeth for that sort of stuff. Ye that would make you a silly goose. This is 100% pure coconut water. Water out of a coconut. Kind of, kind of felt like a bit of a Gator Poon uh, improv there. One thing you'll get, you guys will notice as time passes, is that um, I do a little bit of improv myself. All the bad unboxings that are done are uh, pretty much improv. I might have a joke in mind when I go into it, but for the most part, they're improv. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, a, a bit of a garnish that I enjoy. Ah, uh, less of a garnish, more of a main ingredient, and uh, that is. A nice can of oysters, baby. Uh, come on. 
Mm, I'm a little bit drunk. I'm a little bit, uh, how you say, love drunk. This is a nice little can of oysters. It kind of looks a little bit like dog food, but they're, they're not dog food. They're plump, and they're full of delicious yummies. I like oysters. Uh, I eat them. Uh, you mainly want to eat them on, uh, on something that has a, a lot of uh, fortification to it, like a saltine cracker. Just to get the most out of my uh, cocktail experience is, uh, I think, I'll just add the whole gamut in there. This is the uh, concoction so far. It's a bit green, but now we're going to add some color to it. Yeah, some red. Ooh, there's blood in the water, boys and girls. I'm not going to add too much because I think there's enough in there. I plainly prefer coconut water. Maybe part of the problem with the uh, with the other drink was that I put too much of the mixer in there. I put I put uh, more than half of the uh, the uh, pickle juice in there. I think that was my problem. Ooh, do you guys see all the little withering willows at the bottom? Kind of turns you into a horse to drink this stuff. Yikes. Yeah, it's actually not that hard to get down. It's sweet. It's got a... <laughs> um, that, um... Uh, just didn't go down the right pipe is all. You know... I was a saying back then today. Oh, it went down the wrong pipe. We don't use that anymore. We don't use that saying anymore. It went down the wrong pipe. A lot of people out there would be cringing at this portion of it. This, this is the portion that you're afraid of. I'm not afraid of it. Mm. I'll let the juice run out. Now, in the end, I'm not sure it was the best idea for me to request an alcohol box because I I thought alcohol could work out, but in the end, I'm just, I'm not much of an alky guy. Uh, so if you are an alky guy or an alky girl, I'd recommend you pick up a Mantry Crate. They're $65 a month. I have a, a referral link down below, and you can pick one up for a friend, an alcoholic, a father, a father-in-law who beats you, um, any, any, any of the above. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and, uh, remember, never let life get you down. Only do a job for maybe a week at most, but it's still doing a job. It's still, it's still giving off an aroma, and, uh, that's something I can appreciate. Uh, so, uh, I will do the, uh, the traditional thing that you do with air fresheners and Ooh, I will partake, baby. The reason that they uh, provide this air freshener in the uh, in the one-up box is that uh, Mantry, it's got a tonic syrup. Mantry, I need to work on my lyrics. Mantry, we got a lot of elixirs. Mantry, makes me want to suck on my dick, sir.